everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss in brief about sexual reproduction in organisms. So let's begin this video with phases of lifespan. We have already studied in, uh, uh, in first video about lifespan. So we know that the time period between birth and natural death of the organism, okay, the time period between birth and natural death of the organism is actually called lifespan, okay. And during its entire lifespan or during its complete life cycle, every individual has to uh, see or has to, you know, go through three very important phases. The first phase is called juvenile or vegetative phase, okay. In case of animals, it is called juvenile phase and in case of plants, it is called vegetative phase. The second very important phase and you can say the long lasting phase is known as reproductive phase. And the last phase is, uh, is the phase of aging which can also be called senescence. Okay. And this senescence phase is sometimes is also known as senescent phase. Okay. Senescent. Senescent phase. Okay. So let's discuss about these phases one by one. The first uh, phase of lifespan is juvenile phase. Juvenile phase is a term used for animals and for plants we use the term vegetative phase. Juvenile phase is also known as pre-reproductive phase in the life cycle of an organism. This is because juvenile phase comes or it is present before reproductive phase in the life cycle cycle of an organism. Now generally what happens in juvenile phase is during juvenile phase the complete growth of an individual occurs, okay. What we can see is, for example, when, a, when an animal takes birth, okay, an animal takes birth, okay, or uh, you can say a small seed, uh, a, a seed germinates and a small plant grows, okay. Now, you know that the moment a small plant grows, or uh, maybe the moment an animal uh, takes birth, okay, so immediately, they cannot uh, start the process of reproduction, okay, immediately they cannot be capable of producing new organisms, they are not capable of reproduction, okay. So, before a reproductive phase, they have to attain certain age, okay, they actually have to attain certain growth, okay. So, during juvenile phase, there is actually increase in, uh, there is actually increase in uh, cell number or you can simply say there is actually increase in size and mass of the body okay so during juvenile phase there is actually an increase in the size and mass or weight of the body okay so um, juvenile phase is also called pre-reproductive phase and this is a phase before uh, reproductive phase in the life cycle of an organism and it's a period of growth between birth of an individual up to the reproductive maturity okay and this phase is known as vegetative phase in plants now after juvenile phase ends okay after juvenile phase ends the second phase starts in organism and this second phase is known as reproductive phase okay reproductive phase is also called maturity phase this is because during reproductive phase the organism is actually capable of sexual reproduction okay actual uh, the organism actually attains sexual maturity during reproductive phase the organism is capable of sexual reproduction the organism is capable of producing new organisms of its own kind okay and uh, how to mark uh, the beginning of reproductive uh, phase in animals and plants now you must have seen that for example a seed is there seed is sown under the soil okay after few days the seed will germinate a small baby plant will grow okay and you can see that after few months okay or maybe after few years the plant starts flowering okay the plant starts flowering so remember whenever the plant starts flowering okay that means uh, the reproductive phase has begun in that particular plant okay so remember flowering marks the beginning of reproductive phase in any plant similarly when we talk about animals uh, let's say uh, let's talk about uh, human beings so uh, in your lower grades you have studied about uh, human beings okay especially in grade 8 uh, about in uh, chapter number uh, reaching chapter number 11 reaching the age of adolescence okay so in this particular chapter you have studied about puberty so both male and female humans they attain puberty 
maybe at the age of around uh, 10 okay at the age of around uh, uh, 10 11 or 12 or maybe 13 okay so this particular age the male and female they attain puberty okay and after they attain puberty there are many changes which can be observed in their physical body structure shape their voice okay the growth of hair okay the growth of their body and uh, also uh, in their behavior okay so uh, uh, so these changes are seen at this particular age and this is called puberty okay what it is called it is called puberty okay so onset of puberty in animals marks the beginning of reproductive phase and similarly in case of plants the flowering flowering uh, the moment flowering starts in plant it marks the beginning of reproductive phase so let's discuss about this reproductive phase in detail in animals and in plants uh, first uh, let's talk about uh, animals okay there are two types of cycle called Easter cycle and menstrual cycle. Okay, about menstrual cycle, you have already studied in the lower grades. Okay, first talk about uh, menstrual cycle. So, it is actually the reproductive cycle starting from one menstruation till next one in female primates. Primates like monkey, humans, lemurs, apes, etc. Okay, so we all know that we are human beings and we know that in human females, uh, menstrual cycle uh, takes place okay menstrual cycle occurs after the interval of 28 to 35 days every month okay so uh, this menstrual cycle actually uh, happens only during the reproductive phase similarly when this menstrual cycle occurs in cows sheep rat deer dogs tiger etc in other mammals in other animals it is called estrus cycle okay and these, uh, this is nothing but the cyclic changes in the activities of ovaries and accessory ducts, as well as hormones during the reproductive phase of the nine non-primate mammals or the primate mammals. It is called estrus cycle. Okay. So remember, in case of females of these mammals, uh, like primates and non-primate mammals, this estrus and menstrual cycle occurs respectively. Okay. And the beginning of these estrus or menstrual cycle marks the beginning of reproductive phase okay uh, in some words we can see or we can identify this reproductive phase by uh, by uh, their nature of laying eggs okay so there are uh, birds which actually lays eggs seasonally okay maybe in one particular season they lay egg okay and in one particular season they do not lay egg okay in one particular season they lay egg and in one particular season they do not lay egg okay so what happens is the season in which they are laying egg that season is actually their reproductive phase and in another season in which they do not lay egg that is the uh, that is actually their juvenile or vegetative phase okay that is their juvenile phase and the season in which they lay egg that is their reproductive phase okay so birds which are actually living in the nature freely they uh, in them the reproductive phase arises seasonally but uh, when we talk about poultry birds okay which are actually raised and cultivated uh, for commercial purposes for egg and meat okay so these poultry birds they do not have uh, a proper reproductive phase i mean uh, these poultry birds under the influence of medicines or hormones they lay egg throughout the year okay they lay egg throughout the year for commercial purposes understood so Throughout the year, for them, reproductive phase is active. And uh, based on breeding, animals are uh, generally of two types. Okay, there are seasonal breeders and continuous breeders. Okay, so seasonal breeders are the one which exhibit estrus or menstrual cycle only during favorable seasons in their reproductive phase, like frog, lizard, birds, deer, etc. For example, maybe for frog, uh, like you know, rainy season rainy season or uh, the uh, or the monsoon season is uh, is uh, the breeding season for frog because at that time more amount of water is present they can easily lay eggs uh, so they can easily lay sperms in uh, water we know that in frog external fertilization occurs okay so uh, so uh, these seasonal breeders okay for them reproductive phase arises only in one particular season or, or you can say they are sexually most active only in one particular season and hence they are known as seasonal breeders and the example is frog lizard birds deer etc okay and continuous breeders are those which reproduces or continue to breed throughout their reproductive phase or you can say 
they have the ability to breed throughout their reproductive phase okay and they are honeybee poultry rabbit mice cattle human beings etc okay uh, next is uh, plant so uh, let's uh, discuss about plants i have already told you in the previous video that uh, in the i have already told you in the previous slide uh, that uh, in plants flowering marks the beginning of reproductive phase okay but do you think that all plants they flower at the same time or maybe all plants they flower continuously uh, throughout their lifetime or maybe there are plants which do not flower at all okay which do not uh, produce flower at all or there are plants which produces flowers only once in their lifetime okay so remember flower is uh, is the reproductive organ of the plant and the moment any plant starts flowering that means uh, we can say that the reproductive phase of that particular plant has started okay now producing flowers marks the beginning of reproductive phase in plants okay now there are actually uh, two types of plant okay first one is monocarpic plant and the next one is polycarpic plant based on the number uh, of times they produce flowers in their lifetime okay now uh, based on the number of years they live plants can be divided into three types annual plants biennial plants and perennial plants okay so uh, monocarpic plants are the plants which produce flowers only once in a lifetime remember monocarpic plants are the plants which produce flowers only once in their lifetime okay and after they produce flowers okay after they produce after flowering after they produce flowers they uh, form fruits uh, the seeds are dispersed and they will die okay so monocarpic plants they produce flowers only once in a lifetime and after flowering they produce flower produce seeds seeds are dispersed and they die okay and uh, under monocarpic plant the first example is of annual plant wheat and rice okay so this wheat and rice are the example of monocarpic plant they are actually seasonal breeders only in one particular season this is wheat okay and this is rice so only in one particular season these plants they produce flowers okay and from these flowers fruits are produced fruits or you can say seeds uh, these wheat and rice are the seed seeds are produced and after producing seed they die next example of monocarpic plant is from biennial plant and these are carrot and uh, radish okay carrot and radish uh, the third example is perennial plant biennial plants are those plants which live for two years okay perennial plants are those plants which can survive for more than two years up to many years okay so from two to many years okay now one of the best example of perennial plant which produces flower only once in their lifetime is bamboo plant okay bamboo is actually a kind of grass and it produces flower only once in a lifetime the life span of bamboo plant is from 50 to 100 years okay so bamboo plant actually produces flower after 50 years of its age up to 100 years okay so from 50 up to 100 years it can produce flowers uh, at any particular age and it will produce flowers only once okay and after flowering this bamboo plant actually produces lots of fruit and it will die so you can see here the diagram of bamboo uh, plant okay this is actually the flower of bamboo plant and uh, there is another uh, perennial plant which is called strobilanthus kunthiana okay strobilanthus kunthiana so this strobilanthus kunthiana also lives uh, like you know for many years but it produces flower only once in their lifetime okay and it produces flower only once in 12 years okay the common name of this particular plant that is, that is strobilanthus kunthiana is nila krunji and it can be found in the hilly areas of south india like uh, you know south indian states like kerala karnataka tamil nadu etc as it produces flowers only once in 12 years it uh, actually attracts a lot of tourists okay a lot of uh, it's actually uh, be it becomes uh, an attraction for a large number of tourists tourists okay because of uh, the beautiful flowers which they produce once in 12 years the last time they produced uh, last time they produced flower in uh, september 2006 okay now for example if the flower was produced in september 2006 so next time they will produce a flower uh, maybe in uh, like you know they would have produced flower 
uh, maybe in September or October uh, 2018. Okay, so the gap of 18 years they produce flower. Okay, and they flower only once in 12 years. So uh, this is the flower of Strobilanthus kuntiana. You can see here this particular hill in Kerala is actually you know completely covered with the the uh, with the flowers of uh, Strobilanthus kuntiana and many tourists are present here okay so it because it actually becomes a very nice scenery and uh, becomes an attraction for tourists the second type of plant which i have told you was a uh, polycarpic plant okay the polycarpic plant are also perennial plants and they fl produce flower many times uh, in their life okay they produce flower repeatedly at intervals every year okay and uh, the best example is apple, mango, orange, grapevine, etc. Rose, okay, rose, uh, hibiscus, rosa sinensis, that is China rose, okay. So, uh, these are your polycarpic plants. That means, for example, apple tree is there, okay. This uh, one, uh, you have uh, one apple tree, okay, one big apple tree. But this apple tree is actually producing apple this year, okay. And you have plugged all the apples. And for next year, you don't actually cut this apple tree and, uh, and you know, sow a new seed. No. The same apple tree, again, next year in the winter season, will produce flowers again. These flowers will undergo sexual reproduction, okay? And uh, after the process of fertilization, this ovil will change into seed, okay? Ovary will change into fruit. Again, this plant will produce fruit, okay? So that means this particular plant is a polycarpic plant because it is producing flowers repeatedly at intervals every year okay it produces flowers many a times throughout its life cycle or throughout its lifespan every year at the interval of every year okay and there are some plants which produces uh, flower throughout the year and one example is hibiscus rosa sinensis so this is the botanical name of china rose okay uh, china rose okay so the last phase of a lifespan of an organism is known as senescent phase okay this is senescent phase the senescent phase is also called senescence or aging so this uh, this uh, particular phase uh, actually comes in the lifespan of an organism after the reproductive phase overs okay after the reproductive phase gets over okay so at the end of the reproductive phase or maybe after the reproductive phase gets over the body of the individual, it can be plant or it can be an animal, the body of the individual, um, you know, uh, becomes uh, weak, becomes, uh, slowly becomes weak and it cannot, uh, cannot give uh, rise to new individual, okay. So, this is the last phase of lifespan and after uh, senescent phase, it ultimately leads to the death of the person, okay. So, in both animals and plants, hormones are responsible for changes from uh, one phase to another phase uh, in both animals as well as plants okay uh, the body of the animal changes first enters into the juvenile or vegetative phase and then it uh, passes through like you know reproductive phase which is the longest uh, phase and then uh, it uh, enters into the senescent or the phase of aging okay so hormones are responsible for changes which occurs in the body of animals and plants throughout these phases and uh, remember, uh, like all the senior citizens which are present around us in our, uh, in case of human beings, they are all going through the sens uh, senescent phase or uh, the phase of aging or senescence. So, we are done with this video. In next video, we are going to begin with the events of sexual reproduction. Take care till then. Bye-bye.